This is the National Video Journalist Network. Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Tonight we have our Anastasia Industry and Press Celebration. It's going to be wonderful for Long Island because we're bringing Broadway to you tonight. Tonight we have uh, some of Long Island's premier companies. So we have Ambient Events. They're providing a mirror, mirror selfie booth. The Garden City Hotel is raffling off our iconic brunch for two. The raffles are going for Broadway Cares Equity Bites Aids. Anastasia is going to be raffling off two tickets to the show with a fan experience. We are launching a series where we're going to bring Broadway's best out to the Garden City Hotel and give you a slice of what we're doing in Times Square. I'm a Long Island boy. I grew up in Hop Hog, and I've always wanted to bring Broadway back to Long Island. I, um, I love my roots, I love where I came from, and there is no more elegant setting than the Garden City Hotel on Long Island, so this seemed like a natural fit. Anastasia is a story about home, love, and family. It's about a strong young woman finding her place in the world. These are all issues I care about, and we've been working on this show for over four years. We did it last year in Hartford. It was a big hit, the audiences loved it, and now it's time to be on Broadway. Some give up, some give in. Me, I won't. Black and blue. Welcome to my Petersburg. I grew up with Anastasia. It was like the frozen of my generation almost, where everyone knew the songs and it was so popular. And now to be putting this animated character to life is kind of surreal. You and I on the fly, just in time. But tonight, there's a sky and quiet. There's five songs that we use that were from the film that everyone knows and loves, but the entire score has been written, rewritten by Aaron and Flaherty, and we have 19 new songs and a new book by Terrence McNally. And it's just—it's kind of like a dream tea, like an um, embarrassment of riches, almost. You know, getting to work with these people and getting to work on this show in particular. Many people are familiar with the animated movie, but this is really a much more grown-up piece that has romance, it has mystery, it's really matured and it's, it's an Anastasia that's, you know, grown up for the children that had watched the Anastasia movie. I mean, I love Anastasia, she's the heart of the show, but Dimitri is so good too. I used to love the movie. So. What's been very interesting is the amount of so-called millennials who are in their 20s, like yourself perhaps, who grew up with this movie and grew up with this story and are so excited. We call them our Fanastasias. And they're wonderful. And they are buying tickets and they are sharing information on social media and they just don't stop and get enough of it. And we're so excited for them. And we're gonna to try to do a lot for that audience, which is not always the typical Broadway audience. Collaborating again with Lynn Ahrens and Steve Clary, we did Rag Time together, was one of the highlights my life in the theater. I think we all like to believe in fairy tales. Uh, we live in a pretty rough times, and uh, it's nice to have a few stories told us. They say life maybe isn't quite so terrible. It's about a woman's search, young woman's search for her identity, her place in the world, and to find her true family. So that's fun to write about themes like that. It brings, makes me think of what that means to me personally. People from the ages of 8 to 80 are going to love this, this musical. It's, it's Broadway at its very, very best. It's a big, fat Broadway musical.